You'll notice as you sculpt along the surface, your brush has a specific profile. This profile can be defined under your brush pull-down. So I'll click Brush and dock this over onto the right. You notice in the brush pull-down that we have this option here called Edit Curve. If we click and open that up, we can then change the curve that we're working with. If other people are using your version of ZBrush, I suggest that you click this button right here, which is Reset. That'll set your curve back to a normal state. So again, when we sculpt on the surface, we get something that looks like this. If we click inside this curve here, we can create a new point. Then I can click on that point and change the direction of the curve. So I can soften things up a bit more. So you can see I have a much softer fall off now from that stroke. Or I can change that point. And now you notice we have a much harder edge to that stroke. You can add in as many points as you like. So simply click on another area of the curve to create a new point and then reposition that. You'll notice that there is a ring around that point. You can click on that ring and adjust the influence of that point on that curve. So we'll just make a few points. And you can see we have a much different shaped brush that we can work with.